Chapter 7. Mario Shoots the Moon. So that's the title of my next new book. I don't know why I'm saying next book like I've written books before, but whatever. They made it to Canada. Stupid cold out here. Come on, Gonzalez, let's move. Far outpost should be just up ahead, I think. I think it should be pretty far. With that save block. Okay, let's go. Places to be and all that. What do you bet? What do you bet? Imagine. Okay. It shouldn't be far, right? Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me. Yes. Oh, no stop for me. Sucks to suck. Well, now I can power up an ally, but I'm not going to go back to town just for that right now. I will pass on that, I think. I should have gone for the one with the item. I am stupid. I'm just a little bit dumb sometimes. Oh, well. Well, I mean, it's just a healy thing. What are you going to use it on? There's nobody to use it on. What's it going to be, huh? Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see here. I'd rather have you in front. Because game over if Mario goes down and all that. Just stomp you a whole bunch. And then... There we go. Ah, many sniffles. It must be the cold here. Oh, dang it. Well... Can I still switch? I sure can't. Yeah, I'm not blocking that. Sucks to suck. Alright, well, um... Here, just to, uh, show stop. There's a chance of defeating your opponents with a single blow. Here, just to restore a bunch of Mario's HP, mostly. Just be safe for some dudos here. Let's get some restoration things. It's not going to affect my FP since I didn't use any of it. No. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Nice. Get all of Mario's HP back. You know, I can be stunned to so recharge that up. It's no big deal. It is not a big deal at all. Here. Now we do this. Yeah. They have our battle remixes. I'm all for it. That's an ice puff. It's a mean snow cloud that appears in cold areas. Max HP is 9, attack is 4, and defense is 0. It swoops down and uses cold breath to attack. Trust me, it's not refreshing. That cold breath can freeze us, so try to avoid it. Also, if we touch it when it's storing cold energy, we'll get hurt. Isn't that super weak? If it gets worse, it'll absorb any ice attacks we throw at it. We're vulnerable to fire, so let's try that, maybe. Sure, maybe. So, uh, let's say I were to then do this. Like this. Nope. Even though that's a fire attack. Alright, well, I guess I gotta do this. I could have appealed, too. Okay. Well, let's see here. Go ahead and jump. Like this. I tried to stun that first time and I failed. Just punch. Punch. Alright. Going to plug something in or unplug something? Mm, yes. <laughs> Give me your points. The keyboard's not working? Oh. Let's see here. I just want to fight the one at least. Fight one of these guys. As well, add them to my little compendium. Okay, I better style again now that I'm missing some star points. In the audience's favor here. Uh, sure, just hammer again. There's lots more to analyze. Oh, I missed the stunt timing. Whoops. Uh, sure. Go ahead and do that. Then do that. Analyze the ice piranha. Like this. 
It's a Frost Piranha, and it's a cool customer with strong ice powers. Max HP is 10, attack is 5, and defense is 0. It's a frozen Breath attack can freeze us, so try to immobilize it first. It's weak against fire attacks too, so use them as well. Then, don't even think about using ice attacks. It'll absorb those. Keyboard back on. Neat. Yeah, I'll use something like... Oof! I got bombed! Okay. I see how it is. Hey, okay, let's try to not game over out here. That would suck. Ooh. Now I don't have to worry about it. Now I'll get a full restore just for free. Sweet. That's what we like to see. Sweet, man. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch like this. And then I'm going to punch you. Punch! B is yellow. Weird. Oh, that's what I style. Okay. On that one. I swear I pressed the whatever. Okay. Okay, don't need a stun because I know the timing on this one, but I do want to practice this one up. I wouldn't mind. Why? Whatever. So stylish. Just regular nom. Oh, or that works. Or just miss. Am I still gonna miss this? Nice, I did. Very nice. Oh, I gotta level up here. Sweet. Maybe I'll get myself some more FP. And by FP, I really mean BP. That I'll put into FP inadvertently. Or indirectly, I should say. Inadvertently isn't the right word. I have so much BP. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, before I finish this off, I'm going to have to have a long, hard look at all my badges and decide what I'm using. How have I not found a single badge, though, that's like, oh, this will go into your HP? How the heck have I not? I don't get it. Okay, let's go. Because usually I would have found one or two by now, I think. Whoops. Let's just get caught back there. Don't mind me. No nomming for you. No Necronomicon. Give me this badge. HP plus P badge increases your partner's maximum HP by five. Oh. I wonder if instead... Oh, God. It takes six, though. Okay. Spike shield takes that. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that new badge I got might be worth putting on when I have the BP. Again, I can take some things off. Because that is going to affect all my partners. Even if it's bright costly. Oh, far outpost. Where's this cannon that can shoot to the moon? Let's have some of these locals and see what they have to say, okay? Yeah, if ever anyone gets low on HP, I can swap them out to someone else that has pretty high HP. What a far outpost. Well, that is quite the good lip warmer you've got. Mm, thank you. I am quite glad you noticed it here. Okay, now I give it my special mustache viewing personality analysis. Yes? Uh, yes, 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 I've got it now. Your bushy broom means that you are a stubborn and selfish man. But I know, I have certain experience with mustaches like that, you see. Oh. Well, uh. This is Bobum Village, the Bluey. There's nothing here, the Blamo. As you can guess from my Blammy reserved demeanor, may Bobums only open up to other Bobums. Oh. It's Bobum Village, the Bluey, there's here, the Blamo. Okay. Well, this doesn't make a difference right now. The Bobum Companion will understand Karako. Alright, well, just chat to people with Bobbery around. Hello, Traveler, for some far outpost, can we? What? Our outpost cannon. What? I apologize for that. No, I just had a distraction. It is nothing, Kapawi. Well, oh, and those three are still around here. So it's rare for you, Bakak. In far outpost, it falls all year round, but bang. I like watching it shine and glow of sunset, my boomer. And nothing over here. Oh, look, we gotta leave footprints for a smidge. We are the Chili Wanderers, the Traveling Sisters 3. Came to far outpost for the skiing and ice skating, but there's nothing here. It's cold. It's too cold. 
I told you, we should have at least checked a guidebook before we came here. Maybe I should have been chatting with them in like each of the areas that I went to. Oh well. My big snow bob today. Maybe I'm as big as him someday, Papawi. I do not want the melting to happen to me, Papoom. I missed. I'm whatever. I didn't want to save anyway. Ah, Mazur de la Mustache. I have tried too many times to talk to the girl it's in and she kicked me out. C'est so incroyable. I must use the heat to my feelings for her to melt the snow. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to. Well, I'm missing the 5 FP from the badge that I put on, but that's fine. Uh. I. I don't know. I don't know, man. Just. I don't need this many, do I? I just put one of those away. My. I don't know. My mini Mr. Mini away. And my sleepy sheep. I have enough other items that'll help me. I have enough other items I'm not even gonna use that'll help me. So it's fine. Hey, okay. Alright, what's going on here? Nothing. Get pranked. Hi. That's shine over there. I know nothing, Shabui. I know nothing about local cannon lovingly nicknamed Big Bomb. Shum Shum. Big Bomb. Sounds like something you'd hear in Metal Gear. On. That's right. This isn't a way, is it? Hmm. Again, night sky makes me feel vast as a space. Lots of space. Ba boom. I want to go up to somewhere in space. So peaceful. Wa boom. Wow, oh, this is a nice special place. Wa plume. Kind of buried in snow here. Oh, here we go. Next. What business do you have here? What? Cannon. No such thing is here. Now listen here. Or the mayor. Who can official like you lie that way? Oh boy, I know I saw a cannon the last time I was here, so do not lie, sir. You call yourself a bobum? I spit at you. You know, rules. There's been no mention of cannons and non bobums. No mention. You must not allow it to be used for evil. Of course I know all that, you great blowhard. But we must use that cannon to get to the moon, old boy. And if we don't, sir, the world could end. Ah, uh, the world could end? Um, well, we cannot have that now. We still cannot use cannon right now because of certain circumstances. Circumstances? But we must have permission of Goldbomb to use cannon. He is the one who started whole blasting things to faraway places policy. Once he got rich, he let business slide and has not started up again. Also, General White was the one who devoted himself to operation of cannon. He was so depressed by losing a job that he took cannon key and ran off to some settlement far, far away. But Bob and General White. Yes, that is correct. If you want to use cannon, you must find Gold Bob and General White. You know where General White is? Is Gold Bob the rich guy that was at the uh, arena and then Ex Access Express? Very well, then. Can't give up now, old boy. All right, search is on. Let's find those two bubbums. Because he seemed like a pretty wealthy businessman. That's gotta be him. I just forget whether his name was Gold Bob or not, but that's gotta be him. Well, once you find them, come back and talk to me. Like, who else could it be? Is there any fast way to get back now? Or do I just run it? That sucks. Might not be a fast way back. I don't know. Not yet, at least. Well... Yeah, I, I don't see a quick way back here. Gosh, dang it. Well, back I run. I was kind of trying to avoid you, honestly. Ah, all the sniffles. Holy crap. Screw you guys, man. Wait, what the heck? To release the fireball? What even? Okay. Ow. Okay. To release the fireball. Hold L left and release it to hit the fireball. 
Well. Okay, uh. I'm pretty sure I'm just dead here, though. I'm pretty sure. Because, <laughs> uh. Yeah. Yeah. No! No, I want to save that for something more important. Just take me out. Just take me out, man. I I want to restart this area and save that item for a time that's more important. Here, just take me out. Just take me out before the fire takes you out. I'm going to be mad that fire takes you out and then my, and I lose my thing. Because I need that as a fail safe. For the future. I don't want to burn it right now. Preferably. Here, take me out. I'm not even gonna defend. I'll restart section. I'll actually run past you successfully this time. That's what I'll do. Game over. Try again. Try the last scene. Okay. Now. Really? Okay, um. Well, let's see here. I suck at that one. Okay, well, there's no consequence of running away in this game, so I mean, excuse me. All right, I have places to be now. Oh my God. Okay, stop that, man, why? Why must you do this? All right, whatever. This is fine. Take out the dude with the item first. Just for the sake of practice there. All right, water break. How about? Time for a quick water break. Sucks. Okay, let's do that. And then we're gonna stomp on your silly cloud face again. And then we're not gonna tactics. Uh, oh, okay. Thanks for the rock here. Appreciate it. Oh, I might get it up there. Oh, I just barely got up to that one. Okay. Take a nap there. Wink. All right, you are not going to catch me. Nice. All right, I believe I know where to find these two jerks. Okay. Yeah, gotta go back again. Back and forth and back and forth, huh? Okay, let's see here. No. No. See you later. Ah, oh, man. We're, we were really in it for the long haul. Yeah, I think this will definitely be the shortest span I've ever completed a game of this length on the channel. I mean, I've completed several of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games within a weekend, but this game takes longer than Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is like under 20 hours. This one is like 30 to 40, right? Something like that. I streamed 11 hours before. I'm 14 hours in now. So I've been streaming this game for 25 hours. So I'm in it. I should be able to do it in under 30 hours, in that case, but still. But still. Alright, let's see here. Once he sees Waluigi, and Waluigi is number one, he'll certainly want to join me. Where'd he go? Oh. Where is he? Huh? What's that? General White? Oh, he was here before, but he said he was taking a trip, and then he left. Hang on a sec. I guess something about a desert isle to the south. He was either going there or not going there. Oh. 
I remember this part. Do you go from place to place to place to place to place tracking him? And they're always like, oh, he was just here, but he was going to this other place. And it was really, really annoying in the original game. But in this, in the remaster, with all these fast travel pipes to go around to these different areas, it should actually be incredibly convenient. And really not that big a deal at all. Normally, this is like one of the most annoying parts of the game, in my opinion, now that I remember it. But now, it's, it's no biggie. Hey, where did you go next? What's that? You've got a ticket for the X-Express. Whoa! Must be richer than you look. Much richer. Wow, what's that supposed to mean? Big boss little syndicate now, eh? Well, what do you know? I guess you can't judge Piata by his fronds. What? Tell me about General White. Cooking on is just the best. You try it sometime. I don't care. I gotta talk to you, then. Who's your important General White? I was here until a second ago. Took off right quick. He was going to a sea which floats in the sky or something. Yep. This is so much more convenient, just being able to take these pipes right around instead of taking the normal, intended way to get to each of these places. Yeah, this incredibly streamlines the process. Where are my berries? I was gonna eat berries with chips later. I still don't feel like having chips. But I'm opening berries again. Yeah, you can, you can still have some if you want. Yes. You cannot have the whole bag. Open them because this is a time for me to fuel up. <laughs> it's no good. No one will solve my trouble. Oh, it's not on the board. Who I talk to? What? No. What the heck? Best fighter ever, the man the Greek Gonzalez. You gotta fight again. I'll wait for you to come back until the end of time. Or maybe I talk to important people, so like Jolie. You know there's still tomatoes in there, right? Yeah, there sure are. No, they're not blue. Oh, it's worth a try. Champ, right? Yeah, the great Gonzalez. I don't know if you know this, but Mr. Lee is the fight promoter now. You have a business player head on down the hallway to the promoter's office, okay? Oh, you plan your comeback? Because that'd be so awesome. Oh, all the sniffles. Okay, so the office was like... Over here, right? Champion's room. Oh, the champion answer. Sorry, regulations. Pretty sure I was the champion. It's not anymore. A major league locker room. What? Minor league locker room. What the heck? Uh, am I blind here? Okay, cool. Some blueberries. I'm pretty sure that's a storage room, right? Is yeah, I kind of wanted to munch a little bit here while we're running around searching for General White. Mr. White, we have to cook. Yeah, what the heck? Major League locker room, champion's room. Where the heck is the office? Am I blind? Hmm? Storage room, and then champion's room. If that's a champion's room, then wait. Is this the... Oh, two, you're gonna fight again? That's great. Hey, go right on it, okay? Our new promoter, Mr. Lee, is right inside. Okay, there we go. Jeez. There we go. Yes, yes, who is it? And it's customary to knock before entering. Oh, why? It's a great Gonzalez. It's been too long. How have you been? I saw you earlier today. Chill out. I must tell you, we've seen a big drop-off in attendance since you returned the belt. I wasn't such worried. Our financials didn't look too good for a while, but... Luckily, Rockhawk made a dramatic comeback and his reign supreme again. Yes, it's been a whirlwind of activity every day since I became a promoter. Wait just a moment. Are you back to fight? Great Gonzalez's return. You must be, right? Yes, yes, you must be. Come on, tell me it's true. What? I want to unretire and battle again? I always knew this day would come. No, I'm trying to get info on General White. Here's find your old registration so we can, huh? Oh, 
Oh, ouch. I'm so sorry, but all our records of you seem to be gone. Our only option, sadly, is to start you in the minor leagues again. Sorry. Sorry, but rules are rules. We can't bend them, even for our next champ. I'll go ahead and put you on as minor league fighter again, then. If I want to fight, you know the deal. Use the locker room communicator. I'll not be going over the arena rules again, of course. Bye for now. Well, I probably talked to someone outside then in that case. Okay, well. No, I'm not here to fight. Alright, that was not who to talk to. Guess he wouldn't have come in here. Nope. I'm busy. I'm doing things. Who do I ask about General White? Oh, well, wait a minute. Flash, flash, flash. Hey, who are you anyway? Yeah, a bit of a different outfit now. Oh, yo, Greg Gonzalez. You ever thrown your hat back into the fighting ring? Come back, it's like a robot convention, and you're an android or a cyborg. What? What does it mean? But yeah, berries are like superfoods. They'll keep me powered throughout the night here. Um, where the heck, though? Oh, you, General White? Oh, you must mean that white bobum, huh? Yeah, he used to come here all the time. I haven't seen him lately. Oh, I think about it. I think he headed off to some huge tree. Or not. Yeah, I think you've got to revisit, like, everywhere. Where, where's that pipe that I fast traveled in on? How did I not see this before? Like, where's that fast travel pipe? Oh, right here. Okay, cool. Hey. Where'd I go? Okay, big tree. I can do that. The big tree where we had all those internet issues. It would have been cool if I could just kind of do the stream, like, unstopping across this whole event. Just, like, keep it on my BRB screen while I was sleeping or something. But it does also make it easier on me editing. Because in the Twitch highlighter, if I'm dealing with, like, a 20, 30 hour stream, that. I move my mouse cursor the littlest bit, and it's gonna jump like 20 minutes. It's not the worst thing ever. It's currently 12.59 a.m. local time. It's about 1 a.m. So, about 11 to showers left. To the great tree. General White? Yeah, he's an old bobbin with this great mustache. I have no idea where he went. May have said he was going somewhere dark. Uh, this is a lot, lot better in the remake. So much better, where you can just fast travel around all these different places. So much more convenient. Up a little bit of Blackberry. Somewhere dark. Let's come on, let's go. Oh man. Sniffling and sneezing is not letting up. Hey, so maybe I'll go talk to the mayor. But probably makes the most sense, right? Surely. Where was he again? Nope. Must have been this one, right? Yep. Hi. <laughs> Why? It's a save of a town. It's boring. No, it's actually Waluigi. Yes, actually, there was a general white around here for a little while. Here, this fellow. Came here for a bit of rest, but still looked tired all the same, all, all the time. And one day, he just up and left. Right, I don't know where. It was mumbling or something or other about a cannon. Alright, he's alright going there. Let's go get the other guy. Actually, let's see if the crows have anything else to say. I'm curious after what they were saying before people wake up and realize that environmental problems won't just go away. No kidding. Air pollution, global warming, acid rain, ozone layer depletion. They didn't start on their own and never going to end on their own either. Yeah, but I just don't see a solution at this rate of global consumption habits. I mean, the ozone layer depletion, we've actually done a lot of good work towards that front. But everything else, yeah, could still use a lot of improvement. I'm thinking of starting a new pace site. It's gonna be a real estate listings page that I'll call Luigi's Mansion. Hey, that's good. I think I've heard that name before. You don't want rabid lawyers attacking you. 
How do I do this again? It's just the same thing, right? Paste it. Yeah. Just making sure. I want to see these other things now before we go back. I want to see what the crows have to say. No crows in this tree? Oh, man. It's crows than before. That's too bad. All right, let's see here. Yeah, Verity, I've decided. I will go on an epic journey. I will gather what light I can. Though I am a mere crow, I cannot embark on such a quest in this darkness. Very well, I will fly at dawn. Would dawn ever come? <laughs> my, oh my. No crows here. No crows here. A little birdie told me that the princess of the Mushroom Kingdom got kidnapped again. They must have her locked up safe and sound somewhere far away, huh? But still... Peach is sweet and all, but come on! Be on call to save a frequent kidnappee must wreak havoc on a schedule. Not that Mario ever gets sick of saving her. That guy's a total glen for punishment. <laughs> Where's the pipe? Was it over here? Uh, I knew that was there. That's why I went through this way. All right, let's see here. Ah, do you won't believe it. My little Ronnie did very poorly on his SATs. He tried so very hard, and we spent so very much. Now, Flo, don't you get down on yourself now. He can try again, can't he? Can't he? Flo, are you listening to me? No, oh, you look peaked. Well, what? All right, off to the one place that I haven't visited yet for Mr. Gold. Roger, the king of the pirates. I don't know. Let's see here. Mr. Dudo. Mr. Well, I'm trying to play with one hand because I'm trying to grab berries. 